Well, I'm back. No messing about. Here it is. Take two. Let's do this. <laughs> right. As you can see, this one's slightly different to what I bought before, okay? Because this is actually GTEC A20. So this is basically the next model up. Um, as you can see, it wasn't too hard. But here's something I've found very interesting. When I was moving the plate, keep your eyes on the power screen. Now I found that very strange and very ingenious. So what I'm going to do is peel off the protected layer. Now I haven't actually tried this, so I don't know if this works. But as in with the rest of the stuff I do on my channel. Okay. Now. So that's it now. Plugged in. And. Here we go. Power's on, button to the side, keep your eyes on that. Yes! <laughs> Printer ready. Now, I've actually got quite a couple of few things to do here because going by the booklet, alright? Um, on the printing stage now, I've now got to go and do the X, the Y, Z, Z axis, and I don't think you're interested in that, so we'll skip this bit and I'll go and have this done now and then I'll come back. Okay, so we've got the donkey work done now and I'm working on this bit down here. So it's all levelled, the cables are all tied in and, well, ish, and, uh, well, going by the book here, I've now, I've pushed a file, and I'm now, it's, so it tells me that it's bed heating. Uh, and, and, it's, and I think the bed's got to go, well that's saying, oh. So they've both poured up to 45.45. Okay, the nozzle. To be fair, I've not got any cable in this, so I'm hoping this doesn't start printing. <laughs> Surely no, because it says here, look, the tape and pressing the knob, the printer will heat up automatically, step 9. After the extruder reaches the target temp, the A20 starts to print. Alright. Then from there it goes into German. Right. So. Without further ado, um, I have, you actually get a sample of cable with us, so that's quite good. And, but the thing is, I've got, come on, I may as well put myself onto this thing now. Right, so I've, I've actually got, uh, that's better. Right, so I've actually got, uh, I think, I would, I would like to see it's better filament than this, but I've never used this, so, but when you look at the stuff that comes with it, it's no really, well, you'll see other people's results, but, the flatbed's hot, right, it's at temperature, and it's E1 heating, and it's now at 200 degrees, so that's, it's shown me the nozzle, Oh, 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 oh! Okay. Stop, print. Print aborted. Well, I 
I've got success to a certain extent, so uh, what I'm actually want to do is I want to print the Benchy, which is the wee boat, okay, that will tell me how good I've got this up. So I'm going away now to go and put this into its proper place, up in the studio, get it set up, and then uh, I'll download a Benchy, the wee boat, onto the SD card, okay, and we'll see if that starts printing for there. Here's to the next bit. Okay, I'm set up, alright. So as you can see, I'm up in the studio. Actually, I'll uh, dim the lights a bit. <laughs> now, to, to my right, this way, okay, there you go. So there's the printer, alright, it's all ready to go. That's uh, the cards inserted, alright. So, here's what I'm away to do now. I've also got the Osmo pocket ready, okay. So that's, uh, that's going to do the hyperlapse thing for us, alright? So, let's make this work. So the first thing is, the card's inserted now, so a print from an SD, go into it, and there you go. Now I've actually, I'll go into it in another room, but you kind of just take an STL file, you've got to create a G code, so I've done all that. So I'll now print for the G code. Alright. Now on the thing that, that it creates it, alright, uh, Cura was the with the program that I used. Um what I've done this, I'm not expecting this to be perfect, I'm doing this for time. Okay. So this one is going to be a quick print and it's going to take just over an hour. So I'll be able to actually put that in with this video. So the whole lot is going to come, so you're actually getting to see today from start to finish. So, without further ado, let's print. <laughs> I've had to come out of the room. I started printing something else. I've done two takes on this. This is now the third. But the noise, sitting there the noise isn't the bad. But when the microphone picks this up, oh, it's horrendous. So, take three. And here's what I've printed. That's my benchy. Okay. So, there is a lot of faults to this thing. Let's not get away with it. All right. The first one is the turret there. That's not really a turret, right? Secondly, if you look inside, so like see here, right? You'll see an, even uh, a slick like sponge effect up here as well, and even on the roof. Um, uh, but there's, lo there's lots of positives that have come out of this. So, for instance, right, on the bottom of the boat, 
as you can see there, it says CT, what was it, CT3, and I think there's a D after it, I'm not really sure if you're honest with you, right, but, um, but we've got the, I've got a square window, I've got a round window, and an arched window, so that's a, so for a, for a you, uh, what was the programme, let's, let's through the, the arched window, it was a Humpty Dumpty or something like that, eh, play school, play school, that was it, anyway, I digress, so, back to this, um, it's, it's not very smooth either, so you've got to try and get that as smooth as you can. But the overhang on the roof, there's an overhang ledge up on the side of the boat here. Um, they've all worked. I mean, even the, even the holes at the front for where the chains come through for the anchors, um, they're perfectly round. So, even though it's like it's spongy, right, like, you, can, you can actually push it in. I could probably... I could probably crush this with my hand, it's actually so flimsy. But bearing in mind, I altered the trajectory of this so it was all about a quick print. So, there's a Benchy. It's done it, I've achieved that, so there's no getting away from that. But, I'm, I'm printing a cat just now, there's, there's some files I've come with this, so... Uh, I'm printing someone else just to see the difference that will come out. I will also redo another Benji, so I'll get, a, I'll get a better one of these done, right? I'm now also going to wait to move on now that, I, that I've got the thing working and I understand that um, I'm going into Cura. Uh, I'm going to wait to do a project on a downpipe. I have a broken downpipe outside and I'm going to see if I can build a downpipe. So, and the fact that it's plastic, that's going to be weatherproof, so... I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been a lot more entertaining than Christmas days one. So <laughs> I'm not deflated. So thanks for coming back and joining us. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, and if you're new, welcome to Random Therapy. It's all about having a bit of fun and helping people out. Also now actually that the live the my email address is now live. So randomtherapy007 at gmail.com Drop us a wee note. I'd like you guys to give me some suggestions on what you would like to see a 3D print done on. So, till the next one. Thanks for watching. All city.